My research is about looking at youth mental health in young people in Ireland, uh, specifically looking at mental health in the 12 to 25 year olds. And the research I was talking about today was looking at our adolescents, those that are 12 to 18, particularly looking at their anxiety and their depression. And more specifically, we were interested in looking at what were the correlates associated with their anxiety and depression. And the reason it's important to look at these is that when we look at the health issues uh, that young people uh, might experience, it generally is their mental health. So it's a really important issue at this, at this age. So when we were looking at the correlates that are associated with depression and anxiety, some things that are very similar for both emerge. So for example, we look at demographics, we see that um, age is important, so the older ones will experience more. Gender is important, so females are more likely to experience it. The mother's education is important, so we see that the higher the education of the mom, the less likely they are to, to, to experience depression or anxiety. And other factors are things like intact family are important. So there are lots of things in a young person's life that are important to their anxiety and depression. When we look at the psychosocial factors, we see things like their sense of optimism, their life satisfaction, their family cohesion, and their self-esteem are all key to protecting them in terms of not experiencing uh, depression and anxiety. So there's really important. Other things that we saw that were important were anger. If young people were angry, they were more likely to experience depression and anxiety. So when we look at other risk-taking factors, uh, things like we know in Ireland there's an alcohol problem. And again, we see young people who engage in problem levels of alcohol behavior are more likely to experience depression and anxiety. And equally, if, they, if they, they smoke cannabis from a young age or they're, they're smoking cannabis again, they're more likely to, to say that they're experiencing a higher level of depression or anxiety than young people who say that they don't. The research is important for a number of reasons. Firstly, um, we never had data like this in Ireland before. So this demonstrates to government that what we see internationally is the same for, for young people in Ireland. So they can't ignore the fact that there is a, the evidence base for, for mental health difficulties in young people in Ireland. Also, internationally, we know that the, the difficulties peak in, uh, around the late teens. And that's a time when we have what we call a service gap in Ireland. So we have teams that are designed to look at young people up to 18 and over 18. So we, there's, a, there's a gap at that point, And yet that's the very time we shouldn't have a gap. So it's really important that if we have an evidence base like this, we can demonstrate to, to government the importance of investing in, in mental health um, and also to invest in services that are appropriate. The other point is we also know that 75% of mental health difficulties in the adult population emerge in this age. So it's a really, really important time for government to focus in the mental health and funding mental health in, in, in this age. And if we look at um, more research generally, looking at the economic uh, burden lost as a consequence of what we call non-communicable diseases, we see that the number one factor there is actually mental health. 35% of lost economic output is associated with um, mental health difficulties. And that comes um, ahead of things like cardiovascular disease and cancer. And yet we invest hugely in those areas and far less in, in, in mental health. So there is a need for governments and policymakers to be aware of this and actually to invest appropriately.